slip the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Yeah. Be on the fence. Wake you up. Know? You ever been dreaming? Wake up. It just felt so real. Wake up. I just want to stay in the dream, you know. David, wake up. Yeah, he want to rest in peace, he don't want to rest in pieces And you wonder why, he gave his life to Jesus, ride with a Glock 9 Best stone, bought his first kilo, it was stepped on Police took his three years, now he down to an eight ball Stressed out, smoking the weed, drinking on eight balls Nineteen years old, throwing them gang signs Throw a frame of mind, trying to stay in line Mama preached to him he didn't listen, said the way that he living, he headed to prison, thought she was tripping, this ain't the old days, see your mother keep understanding the old age, yeah, Liddy cop mo yay, chopped the brick up, then split it four ways, took four days, he about to grind, wake up, count time, he was just dreaming, dreaming, he was just dreaming, he was just dreaming, just dreaming, dreaming, he was just dreaming, he was just dreaming, yeah. Sunday morning, breakfast in bed, orange juice, toast, steaks and eggs, kids jumping on the bed, daddy wake up, thank you God for a pretty white gorgeous wood after makeup, huh. pretty brown eyes, Holly Berry cut, Valentine's Day every day, he love her very much, Big at the park, take a walk in the whole hand, thank God for the inner child, still he on his grown man, it's time for church, mama toes and she preaching, plus he curious to see all the souls she be reaching, kids be bad, play fighting in the back, told him sit down, clean up the act, but daddy have to come and teach him, he was smiling on his face, he don't want them to see it, they just some awesome little children, he just can't believe it, it is a wonderful day, he like, thank you Jesus, wake up. Welcome to Beyond the Radio, and you better be smiling. Beyond, Beyond the, the fences, fences in, in the building. Welcome, 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 welcome. Y'all know what it is, your main man, David Bidden. We are on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Elation family. Yes, we be on the radio. David Benton. We in the building. And y'all know what? I'm in the best mood today. You know, you know I'm smiling. 
You know, we go through the hard times, but you know what? We got to smile through them storms because you know that we going to be all right. Joy comes in the morning. <laughs> Joy come in the morning. Yes. And I'm excited. I'm excited. We got an exciting show. We just want to thank everyone for tuning in. We missed you guys, and we appreciate every time you're listening because it's a blessing. Without you listening, there's no need for us to do what we're doing because we do this from the heart. And you know we love our listeners because we family, yes. So let's see who else is in the building with us because we got a wonderful show tonight. Yes, we do. Jerry, true to Alan, are you in the building? I'm in the building. Hey, what's up, everybody? How are y'all doing? My yeah. brother, my brother, how you doing, man? How your week been? That week been wonderful, wonderful, man. Uh, you already know, man, with the family, uh, my two youngest girls, they won the district championship, headed to the regionals. I'm so proud of those oh, girls. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. Proud daddy. Yes. Proud daddy. Yes. Oh, man, you should be. And I know it's a beautiful thing watching your daughters, man, as they shoot basketball, shoot the hoops, man, and, and – and how, you know, um, it's ain't it amazing how our children can inspire us. <laughs> Man, what are you talking about all the time? Get encouraged from, from them. You know, uh, they used to always say, they say, well, now you can learn something from a child, and I truly believe that. <laughs> I truly believe that. So they keep me yeah. they keep me encouraged and keep me going, bro. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, my brother. Let's mm. see. Shay Samuels, are you oh. in the building? Shay Samuels is in the building, and I'm smiling. Yeah. Shay, <laughs> how you doing, Shay? You got an album coming. You got an EP coming out, Shay. Ooh. I think you Yes. We'll be out soon. So, yes, I'm like, very excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very excited about yeah. it. Yeah. And, you no. know, probably, probably, probably um, you know, next week or whenever we have some time, we definitely, um, we definitely have to play that mix because it <laughs> is a DJ mix. Talk to us about it, Shay. Well, um, yeah, I had the vision a while ago to do something a little different because most of the time, you know, we get the, the albums or the EPs and it's like one song after another. And so here at Beyond the Fence, we like to keep people partying, even with the type of music that we put out. And so I thought about it and I thought, I'm going to do an EP that, that is a mixtape. So I'm the type of person where I like to listen to music while I clean. So I was just thinking, okay, what do people like to listen to? And that's what the, that turned out to be the EP. And with our our uh, CEO's help, um, I gave him the vision and made it plain for him. And he connected with the right people, and we got it done. And yeah. it is wonderful. Yes. Yeah, I love it, and I can't uh, wait. I uh, can't wait for the people to hear it. I cannot wait for the people to hear it. Oh man! Oh Ooh. my God! Can and we have, queen. ladies and gentlemen, today? Will you please do the honors? Cause we have a guest tonight. Oh yes, we do. Yes, yes, yes. So I, you know, I had the pleasure of actually hearing this young lady on air last year when she first interviewed you, David. And I was listening to her like, oh, my God, she is a powerhouse. And then right before we went to um, the Elations Honor Awards uh, weekend, I had a chance to hear her interview again. So I kept saying, I need to meet this young lady. I need to meet this young lady. And so we got a chance to meet her. You met her already, but for me, it was the first time that I met her. So thank you for allowing me to um, introduce her. 
So I'm standing Ooh, next to her, and this person came up and said, is that your daughter? <laughs> they were like, is that your daughter? And so we hadn't even introduced ourselves to one another yet. But, you know, um, when you are already um, intertwined with someone, you know, you don't have to really have that physical introduction. There's a certain introduction even in the spirit. So I'm going to actually introduce her in the physical right now. Minister Michelle Wright is on the line with us, our elections family in radio. And um, so I'm going to introduce her right now. Miss Minister Michelle Wright, are you on the line with us? I am in the building. Yes. 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 Hey, hey. What an honor and a privilege it is to be with you guys on this evening, and thank you for having me on. Yes, it is a pleasure of ours. You know that we love you, and um, we're just going to dig into what you have going on and introduce you, because you're no stranger possibly to our listeners as well. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and dive right into getting to know more about you. So, Minister Michelle Wright, please let the listening audience know who you are. Well, thank God. I am a woman of God, first and foremost. I am a wife to my husband, Minister Donald Wright, Jr. We've been married. It will be 24 years this year. Wow. So we're really wow. All right. the goodness and the grace of God. I am a mother of many, um, and I love, love, love the Lord, and I love you all. I am also also a podcast host uh, for Just For You um, podcast under Elation Radio. So our shout video, out you, you know, you. is a very shout out, Kimmy Kim uh, Robinson. Mm-hmm. So we're very excited. In addition to that, we have an organization entitled United Community Services that services our community, youth, and seniors. So we are excited. Excited to be used by God in the capacity of which he's called us, but the highest honor we can have is to be his daughter, um, the daughter of the Most High. So we're very excited about that and just happy to be with you guys on this evening. And, of course, you know, we love you all and the music that you put out. We encourage you because you're doing it for the Lord. And it's nothing wrong with a little move and groove, okay? Nothing wrong. <laughs> because the Amen. Lord is Amen. And listen, we need every bit of the body of Christ to be able to continue to build the kingdom. So we thank God for you all as well. Amen. 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 Well, again, it's a pleasure for us to have you on tonight. Minister David, I'm going to, to um, give it back to you. Amen. Hey, Minister. Hey, David Minister, how are you this evening? I am okay. It is a pleasure to have you. Yes, it is. Oh, it is definitely a pleasure. Oh, glory to God. Hey, man, I met you, and when I met you, you know, it was just like, um, it's a beautiful thing where you can meet someone and, and you feel like they're not a stranger. And it's because when when the spirits intertwine, you realize we're not strangers mm-hmm. because we come from the same mm-hmm. source. That's so, right. you know, you come from the same source. And when you meet one mm-hmm. another, you have that identity because you own a spiritual or uh, you own that spiritual level. Then you don't meet mm-hmm. a stranger because for some reason, the connection, you feel like I know this person, but it's in the mm-hmm. spirit because we we come from the same source. So when, mm-hmm. when when it comes to like balancing out ministry, okay, because you're a wife and you mm-hmm. have so much going on. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when it comes to a ministry, um what what I want people to understand is when it comes to ministry, like we have the um so so many people are into ministry, they have the because uh, it's a it takes a lot of work. And people yes, take this a lot of work and use it. Okay, well, this is my job, ministry. Mm-hmm. But how do you mm-hmm. separate? Okay, do you ever uh, separate um, the ministry as far as the ministry is a job or uh, occupation, or do you? Because how do we separate it? 
when it's hard not to separate mm-hmm. because it's also a lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So how do you balance out home, ministry, God, just the whole thing? How mm-hmm. do you allow God to uh, balance your life out? So you won't be over spiritual to draw. So you, you don't want to push people away, but how do you, so how do you balance it out, Miss Michelle? Well, First of all, you know, I thank you. That's an excellent question. I believe truly that in order to balance it off, you first have to understand you have a real life. And I think where most people get it twisted is we think one more than the other, but like you said, you have to understand the capacity of which God created us. If we go back to the beginning when God created Adam and Eve, family was very important to him. So anytime you put your ministry before your family, you're already falling. Uh, you can't do it because guess yes. what? Would you please that say that again? Yeah. Of, no, no you yes, I will be glad to say that. You can yeah. never put your ministry before your family, mm-hmm. and especially when you're in covenant and married. When you're in marriage, that is the highest covenant next to your salvation. So first you get saved, you accept the Lord in your sa- as your Savior, then he's first. Then when you get married, your spouse is honored as the next person that's important to you in your life. And then your ministry, okay, and job. So when you put the ministry first, you run into a lot of problems because then you have the intimacy loss with the family. And so many pastors, so many ministers can be so busy with speaking engagements and things of that nature, but you never want to lose the aspect of family. So when you keep it balanced, it doesn't mean it's going to be perfect. It means that you are doing the will of God by keeping it in its perfect order. So I always try to keep that in mind. Uh, Let me give you a good example. As well as everybody loves me to speak and do this, that, and the other, I had a strong decision to make um, in November of 18 as we were getting prepared for the Elation Honors uh, Gala. uh, We were getting prepared, planning, and everything. My husband woke up with his eyes going in two different directions and walking slanted on the very day that I had to uh, be there to help. And I tell you what was a blessing to me. I knew I had to take care of my husband first, right? Um, So we got done with what God gave us to do for him. He was hospitalized. And see, another we need to understand is the trick and the ways that the enemy moves so that he can distract, disrupt, and throw us off course when we're on assignment. Because true assignments of God must yield an outcome of which he told you. He's not going to promise you something and never fulfill the promise. He's never done it. It's, It's in the word. He never gives you a promise he won't fulfill. So in doing that, he told me I was supposed to do what I was doing. I began to talk to him and pray and ask him and just as he shared with me once my husband was hospitalized he was safe he was stable he was in good medical hands he released me to go the anointing still was with me and God was able to be glorified and guess what after that I was able to see my husband come home listen here when we get to the point we can't trust our lives and our loved ones with the Lord we're in trouble And listen, when we're on assignment, God will Mm -hmm. teach you how to follow his will. And in doing that, he blessed. So you have to learn to be okay when things don't. Now, here's the word. When things don't seem okay, you have to be okay with the word. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Amen. Amen. I am okay. okay. Uh Uh-huh. Well, I'm about mm-hmm. to pass b- the baton to Jerry True to Allen. Hey there, Minister Wright. Well, uh, hello. How are you this evening? I tell you what, I was so excited when they said you was going to be here. You know, um, I'm glad he asked you that because mm-hmm. I learned that from you there mm-hmm. in St. Louis, all mm-hmm. at the um, honors. And I really mm-hmm. have stuck, that has really stuck to me. I'm a person mm-hmm. you would call a workaholic. I love my mm-hmm. wife and my family. I'm a workaholic. And I mm-hmm. always say to myself, I don't want to let God down by me being slow. And mm-hmm. sometimes I could get too caught up. 
with yes, what sir. I'm doing. And, I, mm-hmm. you know, I won't say neglect. I never neglect my family, but I could do better. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when I got a chance to hear you uh, say that and you mm-hmm. had uh, given that testimony there, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. I never forgot it. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, At the beginning of, of when you begin to speak in St. Louis, so mm-hmm. I've been, I love this because I really didn't, haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. The cost of the call. The yes. cost of the call. And mm-hmm. uh, I want you to let our listeners know about how it is when it's the cost of the call. Mm-hmm. You well, know, you know what? First of all, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I was just going to say that there is a cost. You know, when you go to the store, it depends mm-hmm. on what store you go to. Uh, the mm-hmm. item that you purchase costs something. When Jesus yeah. died on the cross, it cost everything. Yeah. It was our freedom. It was our life uh, to be fulfilled in in the world of which he gave us through the word, okay? When mm-hmm. we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we have to understand it's not just giving the minister our hand is exchanging our life for a lifestyle that's going to cost us some rejection. It's going to cost us some pain at times. It's going to cost us to be in a position where we have to stand and not uh, tolerate certain things that the Bible is against. We we have to have a like mind in God. And that cost uh, can cost you family. It can cost you friends. It can even cost you a job, depending on what it is that they're asking you to do that's against the will of God. But here's the good news. Whatever the cost is, God has provided within us more than enough to be able to handle whatever it is we have to go through so that he can be glorified. It's painful sometimes. It will cost you a lot. But here's the thing. When he is the reason, right, because sometimes we can do things to ourselves and that cost is great. But when he is the reason, the Bible always says to us clearly that we know not some of the things, but all things work together for good to those who love him and who are the called according to his purpose. So that's an assurance there. That it doesn't mean even if we hadn't already or always gotten it right in the process, he's always overlooked our lives when we were in our mother's womb to give us what it is that we needed so he could be glorified. So I thank God for the cost, and I thank him for the out, if you understand what I mean. He will give us an outcome that will glorify him. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now, I'm, uh, can, can, can y'all say blessed? <laughs> God, <laughs> is good. God is good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, Minister Michelle, right? We have a. Uh, Oh, we 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 surely appreciate you for for your testimony. We appreciate you for mm-hmm. being who you are, woman of God. And we are about to get into our topic for tonight. And we know mm-hmm. this is definitely um, <laughs> um, something that I know that you would love. Um, mm-hmm. and, and it's and it's about Second Corinthians five seven. So you know we walk mm-hmm. by faith, not yes, by sight. Now we, mm. we say this all the time, you know. We we say it, and it can become cliche. Well, I walk by faith, not by sight. You know, we can just be walking mm-hmm. every day, and sometimes we say it unconsciously. And but there's so much meaning and uh, so much power behind the meaning. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Minister Michelle, I, I want, I'm gonna ask you to start it off. Um, mm. in, 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 but before I ask you. To start it off, you know what? Can, can mm-hmm. we have? Uh, can we play a music selection? Because when we go in, we go in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 Once we go in, we're gonna go all the way through. 
Mm-hmm. So can we go ahead and have a music break? You know, cause y'all y'all know the soul is so wonderful. Oh so just so great. Strong and omnipotent. You know everything you omniscient. When you start something, you always finish it. From Revelation, starting back to Genesis. You're the record holder, no need for Genesis. Heaven is home, your throne's the premises. Alpha and Omega never is diminishing. You turn mad, men, and a gentleman. You're the prescription, no need for medicine. You're so perfect, great, and intelligent. You are the president of all presidents. So many masses inside your residence. Messages from your angels is heaven sent. Jesus Christ is who you blessed us with. And the Holy Spirit is what you left us with. You're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You are, you are, man, you're magnificent. Lord, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. You magnificent. Hey, you made the heavens first. The sun, stars, moon, the whole universe. Let's focus existence to this whole planet Earth. And form man straight up out the dirt. Your the father gave everything birth. The explanation, how much you were worth. You live in water, so we'll never thirst. Bless spiritually, although my flesh curse. Angelic beings are always
Cause they come a dime a dozen He died for me, so it's God I'm loving And it's that Holy Spirit in me That's giving this whole world buzzing Believing in the cross life So it's no more thug It's living proof And it's proof that he raised the dead Not only that, gave me a spot Where I can rest my head That was healing in the scriptures And it kept me fed You can believe what you want My God ain't dead, let's go you tell me That my kids won't go to church And the streets will get them And strip them from their words I got a reason to praise him Well, I got a reason to praise him Who are you tell me Welcome to Beyond the Radio, and you better be smiling. Beyond, Beyond the fences in the building. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're back. Welcome, welcome beyond the radio, and we are back in the building, yes. And those songs you heard were Magnificent by David Benton from Beyond the <laughs> And the second song, look. Oh, yeah. See, I, I practiced this stuff true too. See, that was that was, that was my my radio voice. Hold on, I'm not finished. And the second song was "I Choose uh-huh. to Worship" by wow. Shay, the infamous. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I love that. I, I love it, man. Yes, that's that's when I'm <clears throat> okay. <laughs> back to normal. Back to normal. Yeah, Here I go. come back with us. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I guess I'll be Come professional. Back, yeah. <laughs> yes, please, yeah, please, yeah. please, please, please. Hey, please. Well, I want to give a great big shout out to our sponsor. Shout out to Jesse's Beauty Salon and Boutique, to T- Tessa's African Hair Braiding, to AR Media, AR Roads Media, and to uh, my uh, makeup Lyle Moore of Makeup and More. Thank you guys for being awesome, awesome, awesome sponsors. And you guys, check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to the sponsors. Thank you. Yeah, we were talking about. Walking by faith, not by sight. That is Second Corinthians five seven, and we have an awesome guest, Minister Michelle. Right, she is in the building. Minister Michelle, when when we talk about that, because we said creek day, um, let's let's talk about it. Walk for we walk by faith, not by sight. What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean to you? Well, I first want to say, I want to read something to you that is from the NIV version, which starts Mm -hmm. talking about faith, and it says, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Um, That in itself is such a powerful statement. 
uh, if we can see it and the outcome is so real to us, then it's us. I truly believe when God gives us something that is pure and unadulterated from him, we have to need him to do it. Uh, We have to see him in it. We can't just see it and say, oh, you know, that's why we have to be careful when we're making plans, because plans are subject to change when he's in it. So faith to me means accepting that he is God, he is Lord, and that I need him in everything that we're to do in him, and even the natural things we need him in, everyday living we need him in. So faith requires us to accept him in those things that we are to do and see. Amen. Amen. Um, uh, Ms. Shea Samuels, do do you want to come behind that when we, when, it, when it comes to walk by faith not by sight do you want to expand on that as well woman of God? I do and I do I'm actually going to um read the scripture after this but I was thinking when we were talking about the topic today I was thinking about the movie um I think it was called Blind or, or I can't think of it but Sandra Bullock was in it I'm not endorsing the movie uh but this movie came <laughs> out and it went widespread for a matter of a week. It was a Netflix special. Do you know the movie I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Blind Side. Blind Side, yeah. Yeah, right. And so in this movie, Sandra Bullock, she ended up having to blind um, blindfold herself. And whenever they would look at something, they didn't even know what they were looking at. But whatever it was, it would cause them to either go crazy and to kill themselves, Right. And so in order for them, mm-hmm. not even knowing what they were seeing or what was causing it, they just knew to blindfold their eyes. And so throughout mm-hmm. this movie, everything that she did, she had to train while being blindfolded. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Please, somebody, somebody catch it. And she had to travel throughout this movie, really journey throughout this movie, And then not only did she have to train that way, but she had to teach two children to train, to to grow up that way. And so Mm. everything that she did, she trained them blindly. Mm. She trained them, she trained them blindly. So that took a lot of faith on her part because one, that's not how she started off in the movie. She clearly was able to see with her natural eyes. And so in that, there were a lot of strengths that she had to, um, that were acquired afterwards because she had to, because of that, um, what she had to endure, she ended up having to do a lot of other, uh, she, she had to go through a lot of different tests. And those levels of tests uh, caused her a different level of strength. And so to me, that level of faith means that we're walking, we're walking blindly And we have to trust our instincts. We have to trust our common sense. We have to trust everything that we uh, really, really, we have to trust the word if we're standing on the word. But there are so many things that we have to blindly, um, we have to blindly trust um, because we can't see that with our natural. We can't see it with our natural eye. Wow. Wow. And 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 that movie, you know, it, it, I I love the way you use that Shay, because that movie is that whole movie, and I promise you, like that's so awesome because uh, a lot of us who know the word, it's like when that movie went off, you was like, wow, she had to walk by faith, not by sight, and it, that was a good um, example yes. because it made mm-hmm. me think of it at the end of the movie. Um, true too, uh, Jerry. True too, yes, Allen, my brother. Yes, sir. What do you have to say about walking by faith and not by sight? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you know me. Um, anybody that know me know that I that I live with a with a physical disability, but I always mm-hmm. tell people I have limitless capabilities. My whole yes. life, from the time being the way that I am now, I wasn't born this way. It was a football accident. I truly, my life is is living faith. You know, I I truly know and believe that things are going to get better, that things that I go through, I really have believed in knowing this because courageous, you have to be courageous. Faith is courageous. Mm-hmm. It's, I believe it's jumping off the ledge and knowing you're going to fly. And when you truly walk in faith, 
you got to have the understanding and trust that God, that God mm-hmm. has you. And I love it when um, we were saying about plans. You know, we, we are a type of people who we do a lot of planning. We plan a lot of things. But when you walk in by mm-hmm. faith and not by sight, mm-hmm. you never know. You never know which way mm-hmm. things are going to go. And mm-hmm. we, don't, we don't lose ourselves in that because when you got faith, you just walk. You know, I'm going to mm-hmm. say this quick testimony. I, you know, I can talk long. Y'all know I'm long-winded. <laughs> but, you know, a couple of weeks ago, sick, I had a um, little surgical procedure. And it was serious. Mm-hmm. It really was. And so many people, you know, they, I'm praying for you. Uh, Tutu, you're going to be all right? I said, I know it. I wasn't mm-hmm. scared. Even the doctors walked in and said, well, Jerry, you know, this is kind of serious, but it's going to be all right. I said, I know it. My spirit was high, prayed up, felt good, wasn't worried at all. Come out of it and... um when the doctor looked at it, um, at my follow-up, he said, I've never seen nobody heal as fast as you do. He said, I'll see you in five years. <laughs> and I just looked at him, and I was like, okay. I didn't yeah. have no fear. No wow. fear. Amen. Amen. How Amen. Amen. No yeah. fear at all. Yeah, mm. that is awesome. Yeah. Hey, mm. man. Hey, man. Yeah, that, 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 that was, that was, well, brother, look, man, you you touching us. You put a, you put the little story out mm-hmm. there. Got, yeah, yeah. It kind of made me. I'm a sentimental, man. <laughs> you know, I got a little. You know, I got a little Jeremiah in me. You know, <laughs> crying from. You know, I mean, <laughs> got a little crying. Guy, you know, <clears throat> I don't. I don't know what this mist is in my eye for. It's like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Allergies. <laughs> <some> allergy. <laughs> Amen. County is really hard today, I think. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but man, I do appreciate your strength and your your courage, uh, true to um, because you definitely are a courageous person, and I definitely agree uh, with everyone's point. Um, walking by faith and not by sight, I definitely think is very important. Um, when we talk about the faith, and we all know that the scripture. Faith is things hoped for, evidence of things yeah. not seen. Yeah. So when you when you have something that's not seen <laughs> and you still hope for it, that means okay, just like true too, like you said, the courage. That's when you have to have courage and you have to have yeah. vision. You have to have the vision first. You have to have vision. Amen. Oh, because that's what you're hoping for. What your hope is was in the fourth future. It's in the future. What you hope for haven't came yet. It's in the future, though. <laughs> but what you see in your mind, it's a vision that you see in your mind. That's your hope. I hope to get this better job. But see, you got to see it mm. first. So you gotta right. you gotta see it in your, you gotta see it in the forefront. See now you gotta you gotta see you gotta have a vision though. See we have hope with no vision, impossible. When you really have hope, you're gonna have vision. I okay. hope yeah. I hope he yeah. gets better. I hope she gets better. Let me tell you why, because you see it in the forefront in your vision, you see yeah. the thing. So you see through your vision, but then it's, it's just like you said, true. Yeah. You, you gotta have strength. You gotta have strength to believe it and really stand on it. You gotta, and, and guess what you're standing on? You're standing on the fact that it's possible. Cause it has yeah. to happen. It's just hope. It's just hope. Yeah. It's just your vision. But you stand on it because you believe that it's actually possible. Amen. But you have the to know that it's possible. It takes courage. You gotta you gotta be courageous to understand the possibilities of what your vision is. How it can come and manifest in in, in this life that we see. Because remember everything that's in the physical happened in the spirit first. Our house. Your house. Whatever whatever building you live in or home you live in, it first Started with a thought. They had hope for it, but that thought you got to have a vision. And, and guess what? 
they wrote the vision down. And when we write our vision down, see, we write our vision down to make it plain. Guess what we call it? A blueprint. Blueprint. <laughs> right? Yeah, come on, man. Now that hope from that vision, now you have it on paper. Now when you when you design it on paper, we call this now we have uh, a, 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 what we would call an engineer. <laughs> the engineer, he is the designer mm-hmm. of that paper. But understand mm-hmm. this: remember, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Now watch this: you have your own free will. You have a, a choice. That means you have your own godly creative thinking, meaning that we talked about before that you can bring something from nothing. Because when it comes to meaning, when it comes to thinking, when it comes to processing things, that's something that you can manifest from your spirit. You got to see it first yeah. in your mind. You got to think it. And when you think it, you manifest it on paper, engineer it. See, that's how you we got to do with our life. Now you have to engineer your life. You have hope for it. You have a vision. Now you got to engineer it. You have to engineer it. And when you engineer it, because you are led by the spirit, you are led by that holy, that, that spirit that we call holy, and you live this righteous life, now it's going to manifest to the world. Now watch this. What you do in the dark come to the light, right? Mm-hmm. That's That's your mind. Mm-hmm. If you are if you are if you are a conniving person, that's a part of your character. Meaning you are thinking mm-hmm. things in your mind. It mm-hmm. starts. We can't see what your thoughts are, but they will manifest through your actions, which is yes. your character. When you walking by faith, you gotta walk as if. It's already – if you really believe that it's engineered for you, then you have to have courage enough to walk in that because it's manifesting right now in your life. Like each step we take, each second go by is a manifestation of what was a thought in every word we say. Come from a mm-hmm. look, look, think about how, how fast our minds work. We talk, y'all, and we don't even think about it. We talk about these words unconsciously. We think them that fast and we bring them out from our, mm-hmm. from our mouth. Our spirit, that's a spirit. That's a natural spirit that we have. And that's how we have to manifest and engineer our life. Amen. Yeah, is that. Minister Michelle, right? We, I want. I want to go back to you because we, we we do have some some closing. So, um, <laughs> what would you like to say to the Beyond the Radio listeners? <laughs> well, praise yes. God! I want to say this. This is such an awesome, awesome uh, podcast, and I want to encourage you guys. When we're talking about faith, it is so critical to understand. Not only do we have to believe it, but we have to receive it before we even see it come to pass. Um, when mm-hmm. you hear God tell you something, you don't just say, "Oh, okay," and then you have to use wisdom. You can't just run out because you see something. Uh, in plan. It takes time And it is critical to understand with God The reason why we know Plans are subject to change When he's involved Is because the word clearly says A day is like a thousand years And a thousand years is like a day And if you've grown up around Older people and grandmas And they'll tell you in a minute You can't hurry God So in other words When we are putting things together We have to understand It's in his timing It's by his will, and most of all, it's by his word. Even if you're not saved, you understand the fact that you have to have something bigger than yourself to do it. And in this world that we live in today, we so much often hear people talk about what they can do. But what I rarely hear people say is who gave it to them to do it. Well, we are the kingdom of God and building the kingdom of God, all glory goes to God for everything he does for us, for waking us up, 
for starting us on our way. As simple as that may sound, somebody didn't get up this morning. We on the line mm-hmm. see it. And to those that are going through in this hour of bereavement and pain and discomfort, mm-hmm. they need to know by faith our God is a healer. He's a comforter in the midst of the storm. So I just want the listening audience to understand whatever and wherever you are in God today, he is able to do anything but fail. But here's the thing. You got to invite him in. You got to know that you know that when you're talking to him, he's listening to you and he hears you. And in hearing you, he'll answer. But even if it don't come when you want it to come, he's still always right on time. It happens by his will. So I encourage you to stick with the Lord. Don't get this. Don't get upset when things are not going your way. Cling more closely to him because it's in those times that you'll find him to be the God that he is, a God that created faith for all of us and that we'll have that peace, that joy that we're looking for that man can give us. They can give us joy. Only he can give us joy. So I praise God for you guys in this evening. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Amen. My God. Amen. Shay. Amen. Shay, I know you hype, Shay. I know Shay over there <laughs> shaking. She can't wait to <laughs> like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, you know, I was just thinking and uh Minister Michelle and I had a time we had some time to talk today and um and really, you know, she just blows my mind whenever she does, when she does speak, because uh, she just really has a heart for God's people. She has a heart for all people. Um, and, you know, we've heard her testimony about how her neighborhood, um, how how much they respect her um, as the mm-hmm. mama of the block, you know. And and really, whenever whenever you're saying yes to a call of God, that's even walking out on faith, you know, because none of us grew up thinking this is what our lives would look like. None of us thought for a second Mm -hmm. that people would even want to hear what we had to say, right? And Mm -hmm. here we are, we're believing um, and trusting that um, the words that are coming out of our mouths will be received, right? That's faith. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's faith when you're operating in areas of a call that you never even knew. Um, And I say this about women all the time. We say we're good at hair. We're good at doing nails. We're good at clothes. We're good at ironing. We're good at a lot of stuff. But when you start getting in front of a multitude Mm -hmm. of people and you start acting Mm -hmm. out on something that you have no clue people would even receive. And just to see how people receive the word of God coming out of you, uh, they receive mm-hmm. you um, with such humility. They just receive, and you don't, you just don't know. So I encourage everyone that if you have mm-hmm. said yes to any part of a call of your life in ministry, um, at work, mm-hmm. it could be anything that you do here on earth. When you answer yes, understand that that takes faith. You have people who leave their jobs, and they don't. They have a. Mm-hmm. They have a. David, you talked about. Um, we talk about purpose a lot, and so we have people who leave jobs just because they know that they have some, there's something more. You don't know where the finances are going to come from. You don't know um, if people are going to receive your product. You, you just don't know. Mm-hmm. And so that's truly just walking out on faith. So tonight I just encourage people to really hone in and do like what uh, Mama Michelle, I call her, we call her Mama Michelle, but do like she said. <laughs> Even if you know that there's a yes in your belly for something, don't just jump out on it, you know, um, <laughs> because then you're blaming the wrong mm-hmm. thing or being because it didn't work, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. understand that faith, you know, you, you re- faith is just kind of tied into your purpose. Faith is tied into your yes. Faith is tied into the things that you don't know. Faith is tied into the yeah. things that you've never even seen. Faith is tied into all of that. It's like a ball of fire just mm-hmm. in you, and that's faith. But it's tied up yeah. in everything that you have no clue is on the other side of, and I'm going to say the word mountain, only because that's really what we have mm-hmm. to climb over just to get to that word faith. Amen? Uh, but faith is everything mm-hmm. that you have mustered up in you as you are going up that mountain and over. Mm. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Yeah. Mm. Mm. Shay, you and me. 
Yes, she did. Yes, she yeah. did. And I, yeah. if I can, um, Minister David, I heard this in the spirit as she was talking to that person that's out there. And she said, you know, you're waiting on the Lord. But the Bible clearly tells us to wait, I say, on the Lord and be of this good courage. That means whether... What he showed you, it may mean you lose your home. It may mean you may have lost something dear to you. It may mean that you have gone through some tragedy, that it just didn't seem that that is what God spoke to you. But one of the things I know about when we go through it, and Brother True, our minister True, said this, you know, it's courage. You have to wait on him with courage. He'll never fail. He never disappoints. It didn't mean that's part of the cost sometimes. And we have to realize loss yeah. is gain with the Lord. But that's the key. Yeah. You have to be with the Lord in those losses. Mm-hmm. So I just want to encourage somebody that may feel like everything's falling apart. And this couldn't be what God said. They may be struggling with it. But just know that when you wait on him and just hold on to his word, he's going to do it. He's going to bring you through. Amen. 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 True, true. Yes, sir. Yes, you in the sir. building? Oh, I'm here. Listen, y'all. Y'all heard me earlier. I said about being courageous with your faith. But I also know this, too, y'all. Put a lot of work with your faith. Trust them yes. Put some work behind that faith. Y'all, y'all, trust me on this one, y'all. You know, God, God ain't, he ain't no liar, y'all. He ain't gonna lie. You know, mm-hmm. believe this and know your faith. Put some work behind it. Put some work behind that faith. And I tell you what, you can walk through a minefield. Won't get touched at all. Mm-hmm. You can do it. You can do it. Be courageous, bold. Yeah. Stand bold, y'all. We're not mm-hmm. made to be slumped over. Hurts your back, mm-hmm. y'all. Hurts my back. Don't be slumped over all the time. Stand <laughs> up. Stand <laughs> up, y'all. Stand <laughs> up. Yeah, Put your head all right, in the now. Hurts, hurts my back. I'm a little short, man, but it hurts my back, y'all. Y'all hear me? <laughs> y'all put some stand up. Stand up tall, be courageous, and don't worry about what the what you lost, cause hey, what you gain gonna be way better. Come than what on, you lost. amen, amen. You know it. That's my closing words. Listen, y'all, I love you, Mama Michelle. Oh, I love you. I just want to tell you, you. We I, love you I love you, and tell your husband mm. I said, hey, amen. Yeah. I will. God bless you all. Yes, yes, and so, hey, what more can I say? I mean, hey, mm. you guys nailed it. Um, I think it's definitely important, you know, the, to sum it up, don't get caught up on what's around you. Mm-hmm. You'll be okay. I mean, that's yeah. just the bottom line. <laughs> you really believe God is what God say he is. It's going to be all right. Like, don't allow regular life. Like, our life is regular. We all, listen, every person has their own mind. So, like, when you're having road rage, you're mad at a person who may be mad at you. <laughs> they think you're out. <laughs> Stop talking about me, David. Out. <laughs> out. So it's like it goes both ways because we all see the world through our own lenses. Like we see the world. Mm-hmm. We say this is how the world's supposed to work. And we're all saying this. Mm-hmm. So it's like we all have to understand that. So what's in front of you is called life. It's called yes. other people. It's called situation. Mm-hmm. It it's not always the devil is after you. It's that's just how it is. <laughs> if the dog bites you, it ain't mm. the devil made the dog bite you. It's because you was playing in the fence, and they got a sign that say "Beware a dog," and you got that little stick, and you playing with the dog, and next thing you know, the dog bite you. Amen. Mm. <laughs> Amen. That, that's not the devil. That was you. <laughs> so I had to make a correction too. I, I had to make a <laughs> correction before before eleven o'clock. So the movie is called Bird Box. Not I think Bird the movie Box. is called Bird Box. Blind side of the football. Yeah, blind side of the football. 
That's what that was my fault. Thank you, Kay. True, too, sorry, y'all. True, too. You give it that bad information. You can't be on the radio. I, I, I know it. <laughs> I know it, I know it, but I'm glad. Say thank you for verifying that. I'm sorry, y'all. No problem. I didn't want people to be going online looking for it. <laughs> well, it too bad. We can't be trusted. Oh. They're playing football. <laughs> Yeah. 